Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today, let's just talk about how can we create this type of assembly inside group parameter. So let's get right into it. What I can do, I'll just cancel this for now. Click on new, assembly, design, assign the proper name, and hit OK. The first thing which comes in mind, that you have to bring those models into assembly environment that you just want to be assembled together. Right, I will click on assemble, and session. First, I will just bring out the base parts, and I'll hit OK. Now remember one thing, whenever you just bring your first part into assembly environment, make sure you make a default constraint from here. This is why, because there is no other part with that I just make a constraint. Now at fully constraint. And I'll hit OK. Next, I'll just bring out my another model, another part, and that is here. Like this. And I'll hit OK. Let me just rotate the part, and I'll just rotate it in this way. Oh, that's all right. Uh, make sure what people are doing, people are going to uh, to do here a big mistake, and that's what actually they're going to uh, to to select the proper uh, constraint from here, and then going to do the proper selection. What I can do, I just do proper selection from here, and the group parameter will automatically be checked. Now let's just get a uh, angle mate and I'll define. Please make a zero angle mate with this, right? Next, what I can do, I'll just select uh, this face, and then I'll just use this face. Right. Next, I'll select this face, and I'll choose this top surface. Now I'll take a distance mate and I'll hit zero. Again, it's not for, uh, fully constrained. I'll choose this face and this face. The group parametric will automatically detect what constraint should I follow based on the selection. And I'll hit OK. Next, I'll bring out my another model, another part. And I think that is for this time uh, this one again. And I'll hit OK. Let me just put it on this side, like this. And like this. Now what I can do, I will do the proper selection of this face and of this face. Now it's just aligned. And I think the group metric knows what constraint should I follow. This time it taken the coincident mate, right? And next what I can do, I'll choose same like as I did earlier. I'll choose this face and this face, this face, and this face. Now it's fully constrained. And I'll hit OK. Next, what I can do is just to bring out my pulley. And I think it's, it's not some beer. Okay. Uh, let's hit the pulley. And I'll hit OK. Now, what I can do, I'll do the proper selection directly. I'm not doing anything else. Choose this cylindrical face and this face. Now it gets a uh, concentric mate. I know. I know that. Right? And if you look at here, uh, to make this face normal, right? It gets line. I'm happy. Right. And next, what I can do, uh, I do nothing. Uh, I will just use uh, this face and zoom it in this face. And defining the distance 0.15 and one R point two I think uh, uh point three oh that's all right I'm happy because I think uh it gets a line right it is the equal distance from both of the surfaces it's just like I just applied a word made over here all right uh for next I will go for the uh, middle part and I'll just rotate it something like this. Again, I'll choose this cylindrical face, use this one, and I'll choose this face and this face. Again, I take a distance made, and I'll hit OK. Choose point one, and I'll hit OK. Now it's fine. Again, uh, I think uh, there must be some disturbance over here because I didn't make this part correctly enough, exact size. But I have an option. I'll just bring another nut for this to just uh, do one thing. 
and let me just rotate it's not like this and again I choose this cylindrical face and this cylindrical face it gets a line and I will choose uh, this face and this face and again take a distance made by defining zero and I'll hit OK and again I'll just go and well bring out a, the same part component into assembly environment and this time let me just drag it up here right uh, okay and choose the cylindrical face and right now I'll just use uh, this cylindrical face and again I'll choose this face and this face again I take a distance man <laughs> no matter I'll just define it zero and I'll hit OK so I think uh, this will really helpful is beginner how can we assemble part and side group parametric right so you don't need to define uh, all the time uh, by making certain constraint and then do selection uh, just make sure what you want to be parallel what you want to be in line just uh, do that proper selection and the group parameter will automatically detect what kind of match should I apply so I think hope you like and enjoy this tutorial uh, make sure to subscribe to this channel uh, to become a part of the conversation in upcoming videos uh, best of luck thanks for watching